Let's talk about shoes that you can wear to commute in uh, that also look like normal shoes. I love having SPD pedals on my bike. Um, I have a Apollo gravel that I commute in on um, that I love, and there are times where I'm wearing normal shoes and I'm on top of the SPDs, and it's fine because it's a mellow commute, but it kind of hurts the feet. If you're wearing sneakers, they can kind of get soft and bend, right? So like, if you've been in that situation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So what I like to do is look for shoes that I can wear with my SPDs that also look like normal shoes. And it can be kind of hard because for me, a few things that I take into consideration is I want the shoes to look like casual shoes, I want to be able to wear them to work, and I want them to have the SPD functionality. Pretty simple, right? Well, a lot of the shoes that you see out there, they can kind of look like skate shoes, or they can look a little bit too much like cycling shoes, or if they have the functionality, it really is just a traditional gravel shoe, which either isn't gonna be comfortable or just doesn't look good when I'm here at the office or showroom. So, a few months ago, these came out, and they're the Adidas Velo Samba. We've all had a pair of Sambas in our life. Maybe we paid like 65 or 70 bucks for them, and they looked exactly like this. Well, the difference here, as you'll see, is on the bottom. So these have a two bolt setup that's great for SPD pedal, uh, which a lot of people have on a uh, all road multi-terrain gravel bike. Um, so it's a really easy setup. You know, these cleats are gonna cost you like 20 bucks um, at your local bike shop or on Amazon, and boom, you're good to go. Um, you might be saying like, well, is that just like a regular Samba that has cleats in it? No, it's really great. It has a double reinforced plate, so it's really stiff. Uh, the upper on it is a thicker leather, so um, it's gonna help handle, you know, water, dirt, puddles that you're gonna find on the road. And you can totally wear these around the office or just out and grabbing coffee um, all day, and it's gonna look like a normal shoe. Some things that you might have to think about is it is a firm bottom. So if you're walking around all, all day, like you do feel that kind of like rigid feel beneath you. That said, like if you're spending a day on your bike and meeting up with friends in a bunch of different places, it's pretty cool that you can ride with these, pop off, go grab lunch and walk around and not be clomping around in a pair of gravel shoes. Um, the only other thing you have to take into consideration is the cleat is recessed. So it's not like you're standing on it. That said, you do feel a little bit of the grit in there when you're walking around. Uh, again, you get the positives of being able to ride your bike with SPD pedals. You're gonna exchange it for something within the process, but whatever, you're gonna deal with it. There's just gonna be trade-offs. Uh, when you get a shoe that looks cool, like an everyday shoe, but gives you that functionality. Now, the sizes, these actually sold out pretty quickly and they've done some restocking and there are some places to find them. Um, but you know, you may have to hunt for them or buy them on secondary markets, but it's totally worth it. A couple different colors, you know, it just comes in this like classic black with the gum bottom, um, which looks super sweet. Uh, but then also in this uh, cream, has a little bit of like a kind of peachy value to it. Um, which is cool, I actually didn't really expect that at first, but it's kind of nice just because it's a different kind of palette. Sizing can be a question for people if you're buying shoes sight unseen. So for me, I typically wear a 10 and a half in my athletic shoes. So I got a pair of Saucony running shoes, a pair of ultra running shoes, uh, Nike everyday shoes, and I'm good to buy 10 and a half across the board with these. I actually sized down because I didn't want the plate to kind of sit in a weird spot. I bought these as 10s and they fit great for me. So if you're on the cusp, like buy a half size, I'd say it's okay to size down over sizing up. You may not hammer on these as like an everyday commuter, but I certainly would recommend them. Um, if you're gonna spend a day on the bike, go to some different places, you're gonna wanna pop off the bike, hang out, pop back on. Super great solution from that. I've used them from everything, from just like two mile cross town ride um, up to, we did a 40 miler as a team uh, a couple months ago and they worked out great. So check them out, see what you think. Adidas Velo Samba.